Hello everyone, so today we're going to do the problem number 41 on lead code, which is finding the first missing positive. Um, so we're given an array and we have to find the smallest positive integer that is not in the array. So like this one, you have one to zero. Um, the smallest integer that's not in the array is three. Here you have 3, 4, minus 1, 1. The smallest positive integer that's not in the array is 2. And the same as this one, smallest positive integer that's not in the array is 1. So um, what we can do is that we put... so. Um, before I go into the solution, um, the trick I'm using here is that the the smallest missing first missing positive number can never be greater than the size of the array, right? So like if it was one, two, three, four, five, right? So the smallest missing positive number would always be from 1 to n plus 1, right? It can never be beyond or greater than n plus 1 because if you, like, if you have an array of size 5 and you have something that's greater than 5, like 6, then you definitely have a number from 1 to 5 that's not in the array because the length is 5 and you already have a number greater than 5 so that means, you know, there's definitely one number between 1 to 5 that's not in the array. And then the other case is when you have negative numbers. So if your array length is 5 and you have a negative number, then you know that between the range of 1 to 5, there's at least one number that's missing because its place was taken by a negative number. Um, so... That's how I'm looking at this problem. So then if we know all the numbers that are in the array, we can just iterate then from 1 to n plus 1 and see uh, what number is not in, in, in that set. So... Uh, I'm going to start coding here, so I'm going to create a set of integer um, numbers equals new hash set and then for each number in the array uh, I will insert it into the set and then I'm going to iterate from 1 to the length of the array so and if I see that there's any number um, so I is the number to test and if not um, if I is not in numbers then we already found the first uh, missing positive so we just return I Otherwise, we'd return nums.length plus 1. So, so, this is the worst case when everything from 1 to 5 is in the array. And then at the end, it will just return 6 because um, it knows that everything from 1 to the length was found in, array, in the array. So that means every single slot was taken by a positive number. There were no negative numbers or there were no numbers greater than 5. So given that we did not find any um, positive numbers from 1 to n in this loop, then at the end we're sure that, okay, nums.length plus 1 is definitely not in the array because every single spot was occupied by a positive number. So the next positive number is definitely the smallest one that's not in the array, which would be like 6. So let's try... Um, running this code make sure it compiles yep it compiles and we'll, let's submit it 
yep so it's um accepted thank you for watching